Hey Norcore fans, so this video is all about creating an image with Banner Bear automatically with the use of Airtable and Zapier. Let's get to it. Now, this is our Airtable base, where we send videos from our web for front end. Right, so in here, we have to create a thumbnail for our videos. And as you can see, these are all being created here. And how we do this process, we have created it using a view. As you can see, this is our view. And what we've done in this view is on our no code desk videos, we've just filtered it by create a view, the checkbox is ticked. So how have we done how have we done this then? Just a tester. So this, this is this one year is an idea at the minute. Thinking Twilo with Airtable. I'll create a thumbnail for this by clicking this box. So it's that view, the thumbnail view. And when the zap kicks in, it will create an image. As you see, the image has come up as I said it would. This is the title. This is the main tag, which hasn't called main tag yet because I put it in the Airtable base. This is the creator. It's not going to create yet. This is creator's image. Right. So. And as you can see, it's related to this. And all you do is in Banner Bear, you create an image. And you call this one title, obviously. Name that the name of the person or the name of the main tool, main tag. And the this is for the profile of the creator. Really straightforward to use. The API is really, really good. So in you go to Zapier after this. And the trigger is new record in view. After you click that checkbox, and the create image portion in Banner Bear is the second action is that. And all you do is I say title goes in there from the from air table. The text of the this is the main tool, yeah, tool name, main tag goes in the main tag area, and the image of the creator goes in there. It even allows you to create the metadata, which is really, really handy. I think first we just put in the name of the the video before you can whatever you want. It just gives you a lot of flexibility in how you can treat your images after they've been used. If you want to say if you want to change the color of some fonts, it's related to an Airtable video or Webflow video. But all you have to do is create different conditions in this app. If it comes through as Webflow, we'd have it blue maybe. Come through as an Airtable tutorial, we have it yellow. Really easy to do. Really good. It's really a cool integration into Zapier, really in depth. After you create the image, you have to go send it back to Airtable or to Webflow wherever you need it. So all I've done there is in here, and the thumbnail is in there. Look, where it meant to be in here. Now, I think the only, the biggest issue I have with Banner Bear is, is I think the first 50 images are free, 30, sorry, is it 30 on your free quota? But the problem is, for me, is it can get really, really expensive. And if you want to upgrade, it's just $49 a month, which for me is really quite expensive. But like I said, the integrations are really, really cool. You can do a lot with them. So potentially, if you've got a big following, and images are quite key to your product, then I would recommend using it. At the minute, there's also another tool on the table called Placid, which I think is really cool. And we're potentially going to be moving onto that after we've used our 30 images. Uh, that's very, very similar to Banner Bear, but as you can see, it's a lot, lot cheaper. At $19 a month, you get unlimited images for up to 5,000 resources, which is probably more than enough for most people, for most projects. So yeah, highly recommend using Banner Bear, getting the hand with the API, using those 30 images. I said, if you're quite an early startup, highly recommend using Banner Bear. 30 images will be really good. But if you need more long-term, then potentially for a cheaper option, Placid would be really cool. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, check us out on Twitter at NoCoreDevs. Please come along to those and keep on building.